What's up, everybody? It's J Mac, and welcome to Bigfoot Input. A good Sunday morning to you. And I got a fresh batch of cryptid pictures that I want to go over with you guys. And I'm going to show you something that's going to blow your mind. Promise you. All right. Here we go. Uh, where to begin? Let's start here. Get this out of the way. So last week we put this, you know, we did this picture, I, I think, for like the third time. It's the Beast of Seven shoots. Everyone's pretty familiar with it. But uh, Rob in the van and a couple guys were pointing out like, hey, you should look at it this way. So when this picture came out, apparently there was a lady who had reported her little white dog missing. I can't corroborate that story, but that's what I heard. And a lot of the guys were saying, well, look at it like this, that if this is the head, there's like an ear right here, a head, a leg. This is like the rump, and this is the tail. Right there. So, I mean, that makes sense to me. So, I think that further, like, solidifies this this uh, this picture, you know. So, anyway, I just wanted to touch on that again real quick. We're not going to linger there. That's not worth our time. It's been done already. So, I have no context for this picture, no credits. I mean, we can see a big fence sort of thing here in the background. That is as far as I can zoom in on this thing. Um, the only thing... Well, two things I'm going to point to. First of all, the arms are fairly short. Although, I'm going to be honest with you. With as many different types of Bigfoot as we're seeing come out over the years... I don't know that arm length to the knees is a deal breaker. You know, I'm just not convinced on that, but I digress. So if I'm looking right here, I might, we might be seeing a fold in the suit. And that happens a lot. These guys, they have suits. And I mean, every time you see a suit, it seems like the legs are wrinkled. It's like like they don't they, they have money for a Bigfoot suit, but they don't have money for a tailor. You know, I, I, don't, I don't get it. But I don't know. Something about this picture just sits wrong with me. Um, uh, one of our guys, uh, Greg is is a big photoshop guy so if he if he gets a hold of this video maybe he could leave something in the comments for us it doesn't look like the same resolution to me like this here and this they don't look the same to me they look a little different so maybe he could throw in his opinion um see what he thinks about it I, I just something sits wrong with me on this picture but yeah that's all i'm gonna say and it's just solid black there's no there's no discernible features whatsoever i know we're looking at the sort of side rear of this creature but it's just nothing and and i, I the more you the more you zoom out on it the more it looks like it was just photoshopped in there like um like a black silhouette just put in the you know I, I don't know i'm gonna say i don't think that's real but you know hey could be i guess you guys remember the siberian bigfoot picture let's take a close look at this thing i like the fur uh, you can't really see any facial features it's like walking away see the legs they look normal. They don't have wrinkles in them. So this Bigfoot has a tailor. That's how you can spot a good tailor. Um, this is a second version of that picture, or a second picture, rather, of the same creature. And I really appreciate someone drawing that red line around him because I never would have found him without that. 
Uh, someone has put their like watermark thing on it here. That doesn't mean anything. Uh, people will just grab a picture and slap their watermark on it to get themselves a little notoriety. But so a lot of people look at this up here and they say that this is blood. And it could be like it could be blood. But what if. What if it was some sort of hair decoration? I like to push the subject because I feel that these creatures are more intelligent than people give them credit for. And I think that they have coincided with humans so long that, you know, humans adorn their hair with all sorts of things to, I guess, you know, we feel more attractive that way. You know, uh, we wear fancy sunglasses or earrings or hair braids or whatever it is we do right and i think that they could have adapted this now this guy is supposedly from siberia so i'm not sure how much human contact he would have had in his life so like i said it very well could be blood but it also could be something else so let's keep that in mind that's a cool picture though. i like that one i know you guys have seen this picture you know probably 10 or so times on this channel uh, Kathy Westerman aimed to frame Bigfoot World, but I I never showed this version, and I came across this version today, and I was like, this is cool. People should see, sh you should see where it originated from, you know, because this is where it originated from. This is the tree structure that she was taking a picture of, and that's that's all she was out there to do. Was I'm not even sure. I think Kathy told me at one point that she had never really considered that she would ever film a Bigfoot. She just liked tree structures. She thought they were weird and out of place, and she wanted to take pictures of them. So anyway, as she zooms in, she finds this guy, which, of course, like I said, you guys have seen that picture numerous times. If you haven't, you haven't been paying attention. But anyway, I just want to show the original of that so everyone knows where it came from. This is an interesting picture, although unfortunately there's just not a lot of clarity here. Uh, I guess due to the camera quality. This was 2014. Uh, this person uh, has put their name on it here, Cat Hansen. So we see the deer in the photo. But if you look over the deer's shoulders, or behind them anyway, here... Looks like maybe there and here. I mean, I'm definitely going with, yeah, these two outside circles for sure. This one, I don't know, maybe. But either way, these dark spots look a little out of place to me. And I can see why they were circled. It's very possible that these Bigfoot are following these deer perhaps stalking, you know, for a meal, perhaps something else. I really don't know what the relationship between, you know, Bigfoot and deer are. I would assume that it's a predatorial prey relationship, but, you know, we, we don't, we just don't know. Cool picture, though, either way, so... Uh, this is neat. I have no context for this picture, but it literally looks like I don't. I can't tell if they are stopped because nothing seems blurry, so it doesn't seem like they would be moving. But either way, look at that. That's a big boy. don't have any reason to think that this isn't real. I mean, it blends with the picture very well. It, uh, yeah, I'm not going to even get into the suit argument. That's pointless. So, I mean, I'm just, I'm going to go with the, the, this is definitely plausible. It's a very cool picture. Bigfoot in the snow. That's a classic picture. I wish you could see his face.
Let me see. I want to save the best ones for last. Alright, what's this? Cut out in a field. I mean, that's just that's that classic Bigfoot wooden cut out in a field. Don't send me pictures like this. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Send all the pictures. It's fine. I'll suss them out. But, but yeah, that one, that one's fake. I just want to take a moment to thank our members, Nick Matthews, C. Richardson, and of course Adventure Monty, our first member. Uh, we appreciate you guys going the extra mile to support the channel. Um, if you want to become a member, just go to our main page and click join. It's one ninety nine a month, and it just goes to support our channel. And you'll get a few perks out of the deal, too. Uh, we have some exclusive content, uh, videos about cryptid corpses, things that we can't show on YouTube uh, due to various policies. Uh, so anyway, if that interests you, yeah, hop over there and join. We thank you. And thank you guys for the support. Also, if you're into uh, dark paranormal or dark crime, um, hop over to our sister channel, Cryptic Input. We are uploading... Uh, new videos all the time about these subjects. All right. Thank you very much for listening. Let's move on. Okay. This picture came up on one of the bigger Bigfoot sites recently. And it seems to me that the traffic you get on the bigger sites is a mix of complete troll haters that just want to defecate on everything and gullible believers people that just absolutely believe anything that's put in front of their face and you get this mix of people arguing with each other like that's real no it's not you're an idiot no it's you know and it's just it's ridiculous so you got this creature here on this like dirt walkway in some sort of a gully And, you know, I mean, it fits the bill. It looks like a Bigfoot, you know, definitely. So I'm going to submit this picture to you. This is a comparison that I did. I believe that this, they've taken this picture. Now, now listen, I, I promise you that I could do this myself. I just didn't take the time to do it. I don't care that much. But if I put this picture into my program editor and used AI to cut it out, it would cut out all the white. I would make this picture less opaque. I would put it over here onto this picture. I might rotate it a little bit. I might blur it a little bit. And boom, you've got it. That It would be identical. That is, I personally believe that's exactly what they've done here. So, you know... I'm not good at things like this, and if I can do it, then anyone can do it, all right? So let's not believe everything that we see as being true. Got to think about this thing, you know what I'm saying? Forgive my little notes here on the corner, but I get, I get sent a lot of pictures, and I would be highly embarrassed if I accidentally said the wrong person to the wrong to the picture, you know. So I put a little note on the bottom there just to remind myself who sent me this picture. This, of course, Scott Loomis, Monsters from Maine. He's out there, boots on the ground all the time, trying to get that money shot. And I appreciate the effort. Um, I've got some in the vault from him, so I'm not going to show them all in the same video. That's pointless. We're going to spread them out a little bit. But this one in particular I thought was really cool. I'm going to zoom in a little bit for you. I see. So I guess these are all trees. Originally I thought maybe this was some sort of framework. But I guess these are just two round trees. And then here's another round. I, this looks like a branch maybe. But, but somehow or another this guy is like situated hiding back here in the back. And of course, we get a very clear shot of the mouth right here. Top lip, bottom lip. And then it seems like the facial structure goes down this way, which is 
obviously it's indicative right and then you've got the sort of flat yet hooded nose nostril nostril and he's got a lot of foliage coming down over his face here blocking his because it's like <clears throat> it's like the back of his head or so i should say the top of his head is not as visible to us as his face like right there this bottom part the mouth and the nose so the head kind of it's almost like he's leaning his head back because you can see the conical shape here in the background but you can't necessarily make out the eyes. The I believe these are leaves. And they are weirdly, you know, conveniently placed where you could confuse them as eyes. But uh, I, I don't think we can actually see his eyes. I think that there's an eye that, based on where the nose is, there's an there's an almond shaped eye here and here. <clears throat> so I don't think we can see it, but either way, um, great catch, Scott. Great picture. He's out there doing it. If you, like, if you haven't checked out his channel, Monsters from Maine, uh, you know, hop over, click subscribe. I mean, it doesn't cost you anything, and and it would help. It helps out everyone, you know. Uh, and then you know you'll you'll get a notification that he's you know what, well, and not really a notification, but you'll get, you know, your YouTube will tell you that uh, they've uploaded. And then you can choose to watch that video. It's real simple. And like I said, it's it's free and it helps out everyone. So, But thanks, Scott, for the submission. Oh, yeah, I know you guys want to see that mind-blowing picture, but I'm not going to show you until last. So. so just hold on tight. We're getting there. All right, let's dive into this one. This is Abe, Abe Sias. Uh, Abe takes some really weird photos, and I mean that in the best possible way. I love a weird photo. I love something that I'm like, what is going on here? Maybe something we can't explain. So I'm going to dive into this one. Right off the bat, I'm just going to tell you the reaction that I see. Right off the bat, I see a head. Big, it's big head. An eye, a nostril, a mouth, and a cheekbone. Chin down here. Forehead up here. Sort of a conical shaped head here. That's what I originally see. It... It almost seems to be too large, though, to be in this bush area so i don't know exactly what we're seeing now i think uh if you if you get abe's input on this he's gonna tell you that there's an eye there an eye there a nose there a mouth there cheek cheek chin and this is the face this larger bit being hair on the head and then, I don't know, this is just sort of a body mass, you know, body mass. So, so I get it. I see what he's seeing. And I don't know what exactly it is I am seeing. But, um, again, according to Abe, this is the uh, DDN or disembodied demonic Nephilim. So... I'll let you draw your own conclusions on that. By the way, um, no negative comments about people on this channel. And I mean, I mean that. Like, seriously, I, I don't care if you harass me. People do all the, people say mean stuff to me all the time. My videos suck. I'm an idiot. I get it. That's fine. You can say whatever you want to me, but you will not harass the, the um, contributors to this channel. The people that actually send pictures in or have given us permission permission to use their pictures uh, absolutely not your comment will immediately be deleted you'll be banned from this channel so keep that in mind so you know i don't mind object objectivity but you're not going to be a jerk to the people that that are submitting their pictures so 
and I, 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 I'm sorry to rant about that, but that was something that I just dealt with this past week. <laughs> it's like, no, 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 that we're not doing that. So, uh, one more here from Kathy Westerman. Uh, thanks to Miguel for spotting these and showing us. Normally, I don't like the circles, but I think what Miguel does is necessary because it would probably be completely, we would just breeze right past them and not see anything. But, but yeah, if you look right here, we're going to see eyes, nose, mouth, face, and a conical shaped head. I think, you know, again, Kathy's always in motion, so it's blurry, but I think this is a really good shot of, of a skunk ape. It's like he's just sticking his head above the bush, looking around. And I think I have a, a closer version of that, although it's, yeah, not necessarily clear, but it is more of a close-up. So, look, you can even kind of see the ear right there. So, great picture from Kathy. I, I swear it gets to the point with, with Bigfoot World that it's not even a surprise anymore. It's like, oh, yeah, there's another one. There's another one. There's, you know, if you guys haven't went to the Bigfoot World Facebook and 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 joined, you're missing out on some of the most uh, current Florida skunk ape activity that there is out there, and it's, it's a great channel. I believe. Let's see. And I got I got down my last three. I think. Yeah. Here we go. So this one is is from Dutchy, uh, Dutchy Beliefs. I know that she's in Daryl's group. Uh, you know, Bigfoot believers and other creatures. Uh, I think she's in Bigfoot World as well, and she's always posting some cool stuff. So this one here, let's just zoom in. This is just one of the pictures. She just dropped a batch of pictures, and I stole like three of them. So uh, we'll be. Uh, showcasing those in the next few videos but so i just what i'm seeing here right off the bat is i'm seeing the eye set and the the nostril here cheekbone here and there and then of course we got this leaf right in front of the whole face here but it goes down and you can see the chin uh, between these two leaves and then it curves back around and then i'm i'm thinking this is hair but it almost looks cone-shaped right there. Maybe you could even spread that out a little bit, like right there. So either way, I think we're catching a cool face in the bush there. And uh, thank you, Dutchie, uh, for allowing us to, to use your pictures on a regular basis. So uh, Let's get into this one. We're coming up to the last one, guys. This is the second to last. Okay. Phil Warren sent me this picture. Thank you, Phil. Um, and and again, Phil was catching a little crap for this picture on on the Bigfoot Input uh, Facebook. And we had to uh, put a stop to that. You know, people don't see anything and they just immediately turn nasty about it. It's amazing how the internet works. Like, I'm sorry that you can't see this crystal clear face on this creature right here eyes nose crystal clear mouth and then a circular shaped head here with a little bit of a conical shape on the top I believe this to be some sort of juvenile I don't think it's a full-grown anything and you really can't make out his body mass but you can see where the, the arm shoulder type of area is right there. And that's really about it. Then the rest is obscured by pine tree needles. But, I mean, that's by design. That's what they do. They hide. They don't really want to be seen. I did try to lighten this picture. I don't know if I made it better or worse, frankly. But, but I just think that you can 100% see the face right there. So... You know, to all the naysayers, you know, whatever. That's you, I guess. All right, I think we have gone over all of them, but I have one left, and this is the one that I find to be 
This is the photo of the week. This is a cool photo. So this was sent to me by Joe Shaddix. Thank you, Joe. And he tells us that he was stopped on the highway and took this picture March 2023 uh, in Davis, Oklahoma. All right. And when I first saw this picture, I was like, oh, great. All right. Yeah, that's fine, Joe. Thanks. But, but yeah, so he says to follow the tire. The tire's right here. Follow the tire up and then slightly to the right. And he said, you're going to see, you know, a Bigfoot. And he said, a juvenile, I believe. So, again, when I first saw the picture, I was like, all right, come on, man. Like, all right, this right here, maybe. I was like, maybe there's something there, you know, maybe. But it's too hard to tell. So we started doing some work on the picture. And I came up with a couple ones that were that were closer to that little dot and then again I lightened it I don't know I, I don't know if that makes it any better this one actually looks better but but I'll be damned Joe I mean look at this right there eye eye ear nose mouth hairless face surrounded by a conical shaped head of fur that is a bigfoot sir this is an incredible picture of a bigfoot congratulations and i appreciate you so much for sharing it with us this was sent to me at bigfootinput at gmail.com so you guys are welcome to send me any photos of anything. Well, anything cryptid or paranormal related, obviously. But um, I will look at them. You know, I will give you my honest opinion. And if they are good enough, we'll, we'll put them on the channel, you know. But this is a fantastic picture. So, and this was just taken in March. So, you know... You can't tell me that Bigfoot doesn't exist. I mean, I've just, I, yeah, I've seen too much. You can't tell me. So that that's all there is to it. But what a great picture. And I thank you so much, Joe, for sharing that with us. And um, just to thank you to everybody. Like, you know, thank you to, uh, to Scott and Dutchie and Abe and Kathy and you know and, and everybody that submits pictures uh everyone that gives us the permission uh to f showcase these pictures uh we all just want to learn more about the subject okay all right uh that's it for me guys this is j mac and i'm out